Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. And you have the world card here. It looks like people here, um, these two ladies are toasting okay so this to me the world and the nine of pentacles is, is obviously speaking of completion okay the world card it's a completion of a cycle it's um you think of like graduation even spiritually maybe you've graduated from something you're at the end of a cycle okay you're getting closure and you've gained some type of wisdom that's opening the doors to you having more independence okay it's, it's some type of major achievement here um for your strength OK. Your level of self-awareness is it's increasing here because you have managed to be very courageous, very self-reliant. OK, you're trusting your own instincts with the strength card here. This is you being in this energy of being very fearless. I'm getting a lot of strong, strong feminine energy here that could be male or female. But this is definitely you being at the end of a cycle here. And it's like you're being given some type of blessing some type of rewards and or recognition okay maybe you're starting a business okay finances could be improving for you yeah six of wands that's that recognition okay so you're winning okay you may be moving into a time of you being in the spotlight maybe you're sharing some type of success story some type of um new accomplishment like i said a graduation here but it's like a lot of fulfillment that's coming in for you or this is what you're experiencing currently okay you could have a platform or be considering a platform you could be um into business or you know it seems like either you're creating something or you're expanding and here's a tower card It's a lot of um, sudden changes. The tower to me is always like endings and new beginnings. The ace of wands is here. So this tower is bringing about a new beginning. And here's the queen of pentacles. So you've been playing um, chess and not checkers. I feel like you're very mature. You're staying in a very grounded type of energy right now. Okay. You're very practical and down to earth with the queen of pentacles meaning you're probably you know business savvy or you're trying to become more business savvy the queen of pentacles is falling underneath the nine of pentacles so there's definitely some type of financial blessing and or upgrade that you are coming into but this is a part this is due to the fact that you've had to make a lot of head over heart decisions it's been mind over matter okay the tower card here there could have been something negative that brought about some type of chaos um, just, I don't know, some type of obstacles or challenges in your life, but it, it has brought about a sudden change here because it seems like whatever has come in that was supposed to bring you some type of drama or hostility. It's like you just decided to surrender to the divine and this tower has been blocked. It, no, the tower hasn't been blocked. Spirit said, no, it hasn't been blocked. This tower worked for you instead of against you is what has happened here. So this is like, you know, you lost a job and now you're starting a business and you doubled your income. You know, you found out that someone was, you know, treating you unfairly or um, betraying you in some type of way. And it's just like the dead weight is being removed for you. Like the trash is taking itself out. We have now the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords here. So there's for sure some type of truth, clarity um some type of spiritual download that many of you have received here but it's drawing a line in the sand one second because this card fell okay it's kind of hard to pick up the ace of wands and the ace of swords it's two aces and the world card is here and the tower so there's absolutely a brand new beginning here this is luck coming in being very passionate growing being inspired ace of wands is a lot of good news coming it's the good news that makes you super excited about a new beginning and i feel like whatever this is you're being very humble and modest about it you you're receiving these breakthrough moments because of your mental clarity the end of a cycle is bringing about a mental clarity that's allowing you to manifest Everything that you've always wanted. Yeah, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is followed under the Six of Wands. And here's the Nine of Wands. And you can see this person's face on this card. Some of you definitely, you have a person who is watching you. 
They're watching. They're watching you. They're watching you build. They're watching you celebrate or be celebrated. This person thinks that they're they're slick and they're sly, and they they think they're they're very clever in the way that they try to monitor you. This is someone here who is experiencing setbacks in their own life. The nine of wands is here. That's the wounded warrior. This person has probably experienced a lot of setbacks. They're they're tired. They want to be able to drain you of your your energy and your your essence. Some of you have um you're starting maybe like to date. You're following your heart when it comes to what you want to do in your business and your personal life, but also in your romantic life. And you have a person here who is very upset because perhaps they're not around you. Someone is definitely watching you, though. Someone does not like the fact that you're winning, that you're receiving rewards and recognition, praise, that you're in the spotlight. You could have a platform. You don't have to. It could be any type of platform. You could have a business in your local area, okay? You could just be receiving rewards. This could be in the workplace. You recently received a promotion or some type of rewards, and you have people who they're draining themselves because they're going out of their way, honestly, to try to cause towers in your life to cause destruction. But Everything that people are doing, the towers, they're working for you instead of against you. <laughs> yeah, because you are the empress. You bring the tower. You tell the tower what to do as the empress. And this tower for you is a breakthrough where it's bringing about a lot of creativity, luxury, fertility, stability. Okay? Okay. Seven of Pentacles is here. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you, this definitely is a situation in the workplace. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like your success has probably been delayed. The Seven of Pentacles speaks of you building, having a lot of patience. The Eight of Pentacles also is a lot of hard work, working overtime. So some of you, you've been working for a long time. You've been down in the trenches working for a long time on trying to improve yourself your finances, whether you have a career, a business or whatever. And it's like now you're shining because while you were building, there were so many different towers and attacks being thrown at you. The, the energy is being transmuted and it's turning into a lot of positive energy for you. So you may be experiencing just a lot of blessings, a lot of luck. It's because you, you, you remained sane and sound during all of the chaos the conflict and the confusion you didn't let it get the best of you or if you're going through this right now you need to be very mindful of the importance of your mental clarity so that you can overcome any of these limitations these obstacles or challenges here but the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is you going up the ladder and then the nine of pentacles was the very first card that came out so this seven eight nine OK. You're getting very, very close to the ten of pentacles, but the five of wands is here. All right. And then you have here death card and it says game over this five of wands. When it comes to the, cha the, the chaos, the conflict, people being defensive with you or, you know, wanting to be territorial, they want to keep you from growing, evolving and ascending to new heights. That's coming to an end. You have brand new beginnings here because there's an end to whatever this 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 drama is that has caused you really to have like this this lack of growth or or success this is a lot of different people who've been in your energy doing this though especially when it comes to your your work in the workplace or your business I feel like you've had a lot of people around you who were just greedy. People who are afraid to lose. People who, you know, materialistic, but they're 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 very stingy. There's greed here. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Somebody here is burdened by because of their possessive and controlling 
ways. There, somebody is very fearful of losing you as well because the nine of cups is here. Your wish fulfillment. You're confident. You're you're satisfied with life. You have good things happening within you and around you. And somebody here is in so much regret. This energy keeps coming out. Somebody is like losing sleep, dealing with all types of stress, guilt, regret, and it has become a burden. For whoever this is. And it's, it's, it's like your, your growth is a real problem for somebody. All of this positivity here and then you have this energy. This could be a, this, all these cards have a masculine on it. So for some of you, you know, just reading the cards, the images here, it definitely could be a mask or a man in your energy this could be a boss of yours that has just really made things very difficult for you to break through some type of glass ceiling to have that victory the success the achievements that are due to you this could be a lover a friend any it could be any person but you have the queen of swords here the four of swords the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords. And here's the Lovers, wow, with the Ace of Cups. And the Emperor, wow, Queen of Cups. Okay, so let me see. So um, we have the Ten of Cups here. You have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So this Queen of Swords energy is a lot of, of you um, feeling like you just need to, the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords is here. I feel like you're you're completely just overwhelmed and done with a situation. I feel like this is is pushing you into a point now of being uh, very protective of yourself, being like strong, being very direct. You're putting an end to anything that causes you any type of stress, grief or anxiety. You could be feeling tired because spiritually it's like this is a lot to deal with all of this energy that's being projected towards you. The Knight of Swords too, this is a very aggressive energy coming at you. Like somebody is very focused and aggressive on trying to attack your peaceful life. The Ten of Cups is here. When it comes to you having security and, and just harmony, you know, and happiness, bliss within your, your family, your friendships, your home life, or whatever it's like someone is aggressively coming at you attacking this by projecting this negativity on you somebody is projecting grief and anxiety and fear and stress onto you on purpose and this could be due to the fact that you chose to end a situation because it was causing too much conflict for you someone has a really big unhealthy ego here And the lovers and the ace of cups, a lot of you, you have a new option in love. The ace of cups. And, and this new person for a lot of you is the emperor. The ten of cups. I did a love reading that um, actually just went live like 18 minutes ago. Um, and it was all about a new love. Somebody that will love you beyond... The stress, fear, the anxiety, and, and this person or these people from your past that just haunts you. Like some people have dealt with so much trauma and, and, and narcissistic abuse from past friends, lovers, and, and even family that it's it's difficult for you to move into having the happiness and the harmony in your life that you deserve. But spirit is coming in with these towers and giving you so many blessings. Because you learn so many lessons that, yeah, you will have a new relationship. You will have romance. You will have somebody in your life who has good, pure intentions. The lovers is here. It's, it's a partnership with a kindred spirit, like a soulmate. It's a very strong bond and the emperor came out. The lovers, the ace of cups and the emperor. 
This is someone who, you know, is wise. They're stable. They're structured. They're responsible. And, and you can be in your feminine energy here with the Queen of Cups. The Empress, the Queen of Cups. This is someone here who is going to give you the, the space and the freedom to be intuitive, to heal yourself and other people, to be sensitive, to be emotionally mature. That they're, they're, they're gonna respect your boundaries. They're supportive. They understand that you're an empath, so they're gonna know to shield you from things that can hurt or harm you energetically and emotionally. You got it's somebody out here that, that's in your energy now or was in your energy or your environment that is, is like, trying to terrorize you and taunt you constantly. They're taking advantage of your kindness and they're focused on doing this. And this is all because you walked away from this person. You decided to withdraw and to walk away from this person because you had reached your limit with this person not being there to support you. This person was juggling. They were playing a lot of games. They didn't want to support you. You walked away and decided to balance yourself out of the two of pentacles. This situation, there was no balance. So the temperance is here. You decided to walk away and balance yourself out. Some of you are realizing that by ending a situation, it was the best thing that you could have ever done. Or if you're delaying some type of inevitable end here, this could definitely be uh, a bit of clarity, insight, and, and maybe confirmation that you have someone in your environment that's really stopping and blocking a lot of your blessings. And it doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be any person. It's someone that you do have feelings for. This could be a, a family member or anyone. Somebody here, they do stuff to constantly trigger you. I don't know if they do it on purpose necessarily, but their energy is just not a match for yours. This person causes disease and, and disharmony. And I feel like this is someone who constantly has tried to discredit you. Page of Wands is here. Some of you may finally be getting to a point now where you're coming out of hermit mode. You're going out. You you want to explore life a little bit. Page of Wands, you're, you know, coming up with new ideas. You don't want to be as uptight. The Page of Wands is someone who is optimistic and passionate. They're taking action. Some of you have been working really, really, really hard to have these blessings and manifestations to come into fruition for you. And it's time now for you to go out and enjoy. It's time for you to celebrate and be celebrated. Yep, the fool. Take a risk. Be spontaneous. Have fun. Embrace the new beginning here. It's a very lighthearted energy that you're being given now because you're moving away from a situation. Page of Cups, definitely new love is coming in. And the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Cups. So someone is admiring you or your work. Some of you, this is new love and new money. The Page of Cups is a person who is, they're admiring you and how you conduct yourself or your business. They, they admire the fact that you're happy. They admire the fact that you know how to manifest, that you're securing yourself or you're creating security and stability for yourself or your family. They admire that about you. Someone just, they, they like your character. Your character profile is it's A1 to somebody. But here you have the Six of Cups and the Magician with the Three of Cups. Some of you, you have groups of friends, people from your family, from your childhood. They were part of your life maybe when you were more naive. Six of Cups here, the Magician, when you lacked creativity or logic, you didn't realize that you had the tools and the resources 
to manifest certain things. So maybe you dealt with, you know, you, you were a part of social groups or gatherings or situationships or friendships that just didn't actually allow you to see the truth of who you true, who you are. It looks like you're moving away from that. Now the two of wands, you're, you're taking a risk. You see that there's two paths and you chose the path that was best for you, which required you to leave your, your comfort zone. You got away from people who were destructive, who were stabbing you in the back. A lot of people are just very upset that you're severing ties, you're severing ties and you no longer want to be the martyr. You're no longer more interested in saving other people than you are in actually saving and protecting yourself. Eight of Swords, yeah. Eight of Swords, it says blinded to the truth. Again, feeling trapped and victimized. This is the devil. This is that energy that has been around you or even just in your own mind. This self-imposed prison here has caused all of these restrictions. And the Five of Cups is here. Wow, the Seven of Swords, so much just manipulation lies scheming scamming people being sneaky people stealing being very cunning trying to trick you out of your spot trying to just make you do things that will like i said trick you out of your spot the star you have the star here <laughs> wish granted you having again peace harmony good luck it says here a book full of hope And then you have here the moon with the four of wands. Wow. There's probably been a lot of family, uh, like family secrets. Insecurities that you may have about family because of things that have happened within your family. The moon is speaking of illusions, fears, the subconscious mind with the devil here. That fear of not having enough. Fear that things just won't have potential or they're not practical for you. But it's like spirit is saying, no, dreams really do come true. With the four of wands here and the three of wands, dreams really do come true. Your hard work is paying off. It's, it's safe for you to move forward and explore something new. It's safe for you to travel. It's safe for you to have new romance you can relocate if you want to but go celebrate have a happy life you have the king of wands the ten of wands and the justice card here king of wands is someone very passionate motivated they're, they, they typically have a very sharp tongue the gift of gab The King of Wands also can be somebody who, <laughs> because of their gift of gab too, they, they can be a finesser. You guys, this whole reading is about a lot of you finding your strength and your power and a lot of clarity to move forward after being finessed. Honestly, you guys have, have, have fallen victim to somebody who was trying to finesse you. This person was was probably overwhelmed and burned out when they met you. They tried to finesse you, leech and latch onto you to get your energy. And now that you still have escaped whatever this is, they're still. Now they're upset because justice is being served here. Karmic justice is here. The truth is out. Someone here is being forced now to be honest. What's that? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> somebody, uh, whatever they were doing, it has slowed down a lot. Yeah, somebody is trying to figure out where did they go wrong with their manipulative tactics against you. Somebody here, really, they just don't understand. What did they say wrong? What, what did they do wrong in, in, in this situation with you that allowed you to get out? of this web of lies or this trickery. 
whoever this is, this is someone here. They they do this a lot. They they've mastered seduction and manipulation. They're very detached, very structured in how they go about doing this. But it looks like to me, you've been able to meet someone and match them exactly where they are. Exactly. Six of Pentacles. That's equal give and take. You're giving this person the same energy that they gave you. And you've blocked this person out emotionally. You see that this was some type of stalemate situation. You you decided to just be much more rigid and structured and detached to block this energy out. Now this person is at a loss. They're experiencing poverty, hardship, their resource, everything is running out. The infinite abundance that they had from draining probably your energy and the energy of several other people is running out. This person is a disgrace to their friends, family, and community. They're, they've run completely out of resources. They're, they've been left out in the cold by everyone. They're sick. All of these scandals and schemes has led to nothing but struggle. And this person is extremely upset about the fact, yeah, that they're being judged. Judgment is here. That, and the judgment is that you get to be free from this situation. There's a problem that has been solved. And the problem being solved here is this person has been eliminated from your life and your energy. So now the three of pentacles and the high priestess is here. Now you get to go and continue working on yourself. You get to go now and commit to your goals and collaborate with like-minded people. Some of you are developing yourself more spiritually. Sacred wisdom and knowledge that you were having a difficult time with tapping into before is going to become much easier now because this person, they're, they're, they're being eliminated from your energy. This is the evil eye oracle. This person is definitely sending you the evil eye. It doesn't even matter though. Causing you to feel tired and fatigued. Yeah. This person wants you to feel tired and fatigued so that you won't get up and do things. They want you to miss out or lose an opportunity. So this is why I'm saying self-awareness here. Having the strength and the courage to keep pushing. Has to be head over heart. Sending you dark spirits, demons to work against you, to try and trick you. Wow. Some of you, this person has sent so much dark stuff to you. It says unexplained body welts, bruises, and scratches. You could be having attacks in your sleep. This person is really trying to spiritually attack you. Yeah, because they have low self-esteem. Their envy or inferior towards you stems from deep-rooted childhood wounds. The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. Could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It does not have to be their sun sign. It could be anywhere in their chart. Yeah, and they're trying to turn other people against you. Wow. Sleep paralysis, yeah. Some of you, you could have experienced some type of sleep paralysis because this person could have sent something very dark to you. To try and like weigh your body down while you're dreaming. This person, it says envious of your children or your pregnancy. This person, if it's not an actual child, or it, pregnancy could just be you being pregnant with ideas because they're, they're wanting to try and block your root chakra. And you know, your root chakra, that has a lot to do. This person could even be jealous of how you were raised, like your childhood. Your root chakra, this is from age one to seven. You could have a child that's like age one to seven. Or this person is just jealous and envious of how you were reared as a child because they're unhappy with their own deep-rooted childhood wounds. 
somebody here is like they they have this jealousy or envy towards you because you're able to manifest security and stability or maybe you have support some of you maybe you never had support but you still managed to manifest security and stability and somebody is very upset about that somebody feels like they're comparing themselves to you they feel like they should have what you have or more because either they grew up with more than you or i don't know this is just the energy somebody just feels like you don't deserve something that you have exactly look at this envious of your career and the money that you make scorned love an old fling of your current or recent ex-partner still feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal so for some of you this could be um this person whoever this is they're trying to make you feel um isolated too they could be sending chaos to like your friends and family so that other people will be mean and cold towards you to make you really think negatively somebody here just really wants you to think like you'll never have anything nobody likes you nobody's ever gonna love you you're gonna forever be alone they want you to self-sabotage this is what this person they do they do this all the time it says tap into your intuition you already know who this person is the person causing you negativity is a water sign judging your family background and culture root shock root chakra heart chakra fire sign water sign if you're into crystals smoky quartz or clear quartz may help clear quartz it says easily dispels negative energy and at the same time attracts positive energy it absorbs balances and regulates negative forces and energies and then smoky quartz provides a cloak of invisibility allowing you to go unnoticed and removing vulnerability hmm so you may want to try getting you some clear quartz and smoky quartz. Especially if you guys are dealing with some type of spiritual attacks where you're experiencing this in the dream state or in your sleep. Also, people are possibly trying to do things to you to block, like I said, your root chakra, your heart chakra. So somebody just wants to really block like your finances and your love. Somebody wants to block your heart chakra because when your heart chakra is blocked, I mean, that, that causes all kinds of imbalances in your life. That stops you from being able to be healing and compassionate and loving, nurturing. And so if you're not in that energy yourself, then other people aren't going to project that type of positive, um, kind-hearted energy towards you. And everyone desires and, and to some degree needs love. Okay, so somebody wants you to feel completely, completely isolated and rejected because you've rejected them so this is somebody here who just has like some deep personal vendetta and and jealousy and envy towards you because either you rejected them this could be for some of you this is this is the energy of a lot of people in your life this is someone who's doing this directly towards you but this could also be a situation of you are connected to a person because we did see that card where they are connected to someone in their family friend group or even a, a past lover that feels like you took this person away from them. So they're sending a lot of negativity towards you. Somebody is just very threatened and intimidated by you because of who you are, what you stand for, and how other people see you. Okay. Like I said, this this could be friends, family, uh, co-worker. It could be anybody. And for some of you, it's coming from several different people okay because you are just growing and you're experiencing this abundance but these towers like i said they're working for you not against you so um just protect yourself you know because it, it sort of comes with the territory a lot of you just have a lot of great things happening for yourself and you have people who are very jealous and envious and it's just, that just is what it is. Okay. <laughs> so, hmm. I don't feel like there's anything here to worry about. The energy, despite the nastiness of some of these people, this is projected energy. You can easily transmute and just dispel this energy by simply 
staying in a high vibration, loving yourself, protecting yourself, and acting like these people just really don't even exist. Because they're, they truly are a non-factor. And the reason why they're so upset with you is because they know they're a non-factor to you. That's, that's their, their biggest issue. So, yeah, happiness and home. I feel like you, you're coming home to yourself, okay? You could be making your house a home. Maybe you have a new home, but you're happy. You're happy. Home means that there is stability, there is security, there is warmth within you. The home could represent your body or an, an actual dwelling, but you found happiness within yourself. And somebody is very upset about that. Like, how dare you be happy? <laughs> so childish. How dare you be happy? Well-being and trust. Trust. That your spirit guides are ensuring that your well-being is protected. That's what you need to know. Your well-being is fine. Yeah, you have psychic abilities. And you're receiving closure when it comes to this situation. And this closure with the growth of your psychic abilities and the assistance of your spirit guides is bringing you a lot of good luck. And some of you, you will be traveling very soon. Okay? Yeah, to lighten your load and new beginnings. You'll be moving away from this person, place, this thing, or this situation. You have a commitment coming for you. Okay? So it could be you making a commitment to yourself. Choosing to be more compassionate with yourself. And committed to something new. Yeah. Forgiveness. Uh oh. Two more came out. Home and strength. Yeah, you're strengthening your own home. You're strengthening your own family. You're strengthening your body. You're working on your own blessings. Yeah, and it, your blessings is coming in the form of a lot of prosperity. Beauty. Some of you, you know, maybe this is some kind of healthcare or regimen or something but it's your willpower and this is what you're going to have to really focus on is your willpower and determination these spiritual attacks will always come okay you just have to again it's mind over matter just continue to work through it because whatever these people are doing like i said it's obvious it's nothing but jealousy envy greed and obsession 